This episode is called One Step Forward, which makes sense. That's how we got to take our relationships, like with Kitamura, just one step at a time. And I don't know what's going to happen this episode. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Toradora, episode 16. Last episode, we had Kitamura is going through some shit. I'll leave it just like that. You guys know what I'm talking about. He's going through some shit. But we as friends are going to be there to help him get through the shit because that's what friends do you know but in order to do that we got to do some i don't want to say underhanded tactics but they're definitely not overhanded tactics so we're going to be running for council president here yeah as i say this it just seems weirder and weirder but remember guys before we get it i'm gonna do the it's gonna be usually at the end of the videos but he just became a, a sponsor that i just got to give him another major shout out to plebma thank you so much for the support man it's been crazy on the twitch on the patreon on discord especially man i appreciate you oh so very much remember guys if you guys want to support me and get early access to this show all the other shows i'm watching all the shows i have watched consider checking out that patreon down below remember to follow me on twitch and on twitter for the updates and the streams let's hop into this um, Toradora, episode 16, One Step Forward. I gotta say, I consider myself someone who's very good at picking up social cues and body language. I mean, it is an anime. It is an animated show. So, I, you know, but I'm just saying, like, for someone who considers myself at least some sort of socially aware or some sort of level of mature. I'm clearly not as mature as I can be, obviously, but I am genuinely shocked because like, yes, I know this is a show uh, targeted for somewhat. I think this is a show targeted for the exact age of which, is, which it's portraying someone going through adolescence, puberty, teenage years, you know, learning these things, trying to get mature, trying to go through a number of circumstances. That's why they show so many different familial issues and, and, and things that we have to try to get over and these obstacles we have to come over as, as humans and as, as friends and family. But like, it is just so deep, man. This show is so deep. It blows me away. Like, I thought for the longest, even up until the last, literally the last five minutes of this episode, Kano was going to be that sort of uh, mean, I don't want, I'm, I'm not saying mean, like actually mean, like Sundari, like mean, but you know, they have a super soft side deep down. Like, you know, you like their meanness, you know, like I love her, but I thought she was just going to be that one-sided two-dimensional character up until she was like, you know, you're an ignorant fool, you know, so simple minded. I would die to be as simple minded as you. If I was a simple minded and was easy, if I wanted to do what you wanted to do, if I wanted to do what you wanted me to do, tell him that I, I do feel the same way, then I, I actually 100% agreed with her. Like the only way I can relate it to real life for me is, is there's a huge dilemma, well, not a dilemma, but there's a huge social I don't even want to say controversy because it's just it's never it's not really a controversy it's just what side do you fall on because you'll have these high school lovers who have been dating for years all throughout high school you know they're the high school lovebirds oh what's after high school you go to college what do you do do you go to separate separate colleges and try to make it work which we know is not going to work or does is there a uh, like the only chance of you going to the same college and actually doing what you wanted to do and both making it work where it's just it's one in a million odds are you're either going to go to separate se separate colleges you're going to drift apart it's going to break up or it's going to be this exact scenario one person is going to sacrifice hopes dreams futures careers to go be with the person only for it to crumble and not work out or some shit to happen so in terms of this specific situation i 1 million percent agree with kano you know even if she necessarily did feel the same way back which i can't say she did or not i, I i'm not in her mind it was the better play further outcomes for both of them to have happiness later on down in life it was the best solution to cut i don't want to even want to use the word cut it off right there because that doesn't sound good to me but it, it, to cut it off i think that's the best and the way she did it with 
I mean, yeah, he most definitely deserved an answer and they could have had a deep conversation privately between them later, like maybe even about this, but they're in high school. Like, I can't expect them to be like, yo, let's have a, like, I, if, you, if I had told you all the emotions I kept bottled up <laughs> until I was 18, 19, 20, you know, like, I can't expect any better of these kids because, you know, they're kids at the end of the day. It's just like, I just feel bad for how realistic it is. Like I said last episode, kids going in high school, unbeknownst to every other kid in the high school, unbeknownst to Taiga, unbeknownst to Kushida, unbeknownst to Ryuji, you don't know what these people are going through. They have an entire world in their mind that they're dealing with their own issues, you know, their own insecurities, their own love struggles, you know? It's like, you never know It's like, you gotta think, all the deepness and complexity that goes on in your mind, like, imagine that that's going on in someone else's mind, but about a completely different issue. You know, it's just like, you never really don't. You never truly, truly understand. And it's like, it boiled over. You know, she like exploded again. You know, like, it's just, it's, I don't even know what to say, man. It's just a very emotional show. It touches me in a lot of ways because I think, I think it touches me. I actually, I say I wish I watched this growing up, but I think i'm absorbing and and noticing the underlying messages and details a lot more because i've already gone through high school so maybe watching this in the past would have helped me through my high school career but i'm definitely glad i'm at least watching it now better late than never because it's it's so it's so realistic you know like i think i don't know because i'm definitely gonna put my kids on anime you can best believe my kids are gonna be watching the most fire anime but i think like if i were to ever watch this with like my son or my my daughter or anything like that i would definitely wait until they're ready like this isn't something like naruto where i can watch it with them when they're fucking 10 you know i would wait till they're like 15 16 14 right around that age watch this with them you know have like actual conversations about what they thought about some of these instances you know if they know anyone who's simply you know like this is a very good show in my opinion very good very good on like the top layer and then like like a cake got layers baby i love it hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like let me know what you thought down below of course i appreciate you dapper squad have a great day y'all i'll catch you on the flip peace out